Come up there. Aggie speaks, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, where we at? How you been? I ain't, I ain't talked to you in a minute. I'm good. I'm in quarantine because I travel to a non-border state. So those of you who uh, are in New York or maybe in the tri-state area, if you travel outside of New York for more than 24 hours to a non-border state, when you return, the National Guard will be at the airport. You will have to fill out a form and contact traces will be up your ass. Wait, 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 that's wait. When did that start? When did that start? That's, that's what I said. I was like, when did this start? <laughs> what? what? This was Monday. This was Monday. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what? And, and you ain't no walking up. You just getting your bags. Did not get your bags. You can't even get to bags plane. You have to sign, you have to show that you have filled out the proper form and you got a confirmation saying whether or not you have to quarantine. You have to show that to the National Guard to get out to get to baggage claim. They're not playing games. As you said, you sent the email out, you know, I was real fast or whatever. No. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, she must have, I'm, I'm gonna ask her what, what country she went. And no, said, no, non-border, no, non-border state. You went to Cleveland and you got a, and the National Guard? God dang. I went to the mountains in Tennessee for five days and then I drove to North Carolina for five days. And they and they pressing out like that, like that. Wait a minute, you said drive. Oh, oh no! Yeah. And if you drive, if you are in a non-border state, you are supposed to fill out the online form. And they have plate readers, and they are watching phones and tracking all kinds of stuff to see. I if ain't seen right. none of this on the news. I ain't yeah, seen no, none on the news. Oh, they, oh they man. Know. So you're, you're, you're in day four, so you got. Are they tracking you? Are they ankle monitor you on home? Tracking, calling. Texting, calling, and uh, I have to have a COVID test tomorrow. Wow. So they want you to have proof that you have negative test. Is, um, it, is it 10? Days. You said 10 or 14? 10. 10. Yeah, see? And that's what we were just talking about that yesterday. They changed, you know, the CDC changed the recommendation from 14 to 10. Right. Seven, and then and three months, three and my theory, my theory yesterday and the day before was like, I think we could, every, if everybody did that, it would disappear. Just 10 days. Just sit the fuck down. Yeah, ten days. That's what I'm doing. I'm sitting the fuck down. <laughs> All right. So today, the legality of what happened, and and of course, in the last two hours, two to three hours, we're seeing class action lawsuit. Yes, it was really, really uh, dialing in to the power of the people. Yes. Um, and they were like, well, nah, y'all not just going. You didn't not gonna stop me from trading just because right. you see we doing what y'all did. Right. Um, so the class action coming out of the Southern District of New York. We always talk about uh, about that. Yes. Um, clue us in on, on what do you think um, it will the impact be or, or will it be effective? Is that something I need to because I, I was I'm in different groups on social media and they was like, now nah, get out of Robin Hood. Then I went to another group. They was like, nah, stay in. <laughs> if you stay in, you'll be a, a, a part of the class. But, but then I was like, classes. how do I get my five hundred dollars out? I got five hundred dollars in there. How do I get that out? So, you know, class action lawsuits are super complicated and they take a really long time. And usually it's very profitable for the attorneys involved. Right. Because oftentimes the class is so large that whatever the settlement is, once it's divvied up, it's really like 30 cents for you and 30 cents for you. And, you know, mm, what I mean? so, okay. um, the lawsuit that was filed and I haven't been able to get a copy because so many people have been trying to get it. They crashed the damn server. So I haven't gotten it. I saw just the first page of the pleadings, which indicated it's a class action lawsuit and Robin Hood is being sued for market manipulation. Okay. Basically. Now um, what, what, that sounds obvious, but what does that mean? So I could, like, it's, like I said, I couldn't see the pleading, so I don't know exactly okay. what the allegations are. I'm assuming okay. um, that they're going to make some type of allegate. The allegations are that Robin Hood has dif- disenfranchised a number, you know, it's, it's, people on his platform from being able to participate in the free market. Right. Um, whether or not the lawsuit is going to hold up is going to really boil down to all of the uh, things that you don't read when you sign up for Robin Hood. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and, and then the updated terms that they sent out about three months ago. So I definitely ain't read that. There's probably some type of clause that says we can do whatever the fuck. You don't get yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So whether it goes somewhere or not, um, I don't think that's the what's important. I think what's important is the lesson that we as the people have to take away from this experience and to understand that we do have the ability to affect change in numbers. Mm. If we can move in numbers like that, I mean we saw it in voting, but now we're seeing it on the stock market. Mm. Bananas. Yeah. That's bananas. 
and 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 it was really when I when I woke up and started reading, I was I was like I was like, what are y'all talking about? I couldn't I couldn't you know. Right. But then it was on every platform because you know the the snarky people, the hipsters who are ahead of the curve, right. they don't win on it. They want they want you to ask. I, mean, you know, I, didn't didn't I, mean, I got a call. <laughs> I got a call the night before the shit started going crazy. And it was like, yo, you, you need to get this. And then I was like, what? Right. Hey, yeah. Ain't nobody been in the movies. I'm not buying that shit. Yeah. I yeah. didn't buy it. So. Yeah. But it, I feel like, I feel like if you were uh, a couple of groups I'm in is nov, you know, novices or whatever, but I feel like if you were already in motion, yeah, you were in a position to benefit even, even, you know, on a short term, not like today. Oh, let me call and see what's up. No, if you was already hip to the to the play and how it was moving, um, a few hundred dollars, I think I saw some people like really, you know, good Valentine's Day. Listen, that for for people in a pandemic right now, if you could buy fifty shares or something that's three dollars. Yeah, it goes up to three hundred dollars. You just yeah. need like fifteen thousand dollars or whatever the math is. Don't yeah, yeah. But right. you know what I'm saying? Right. That's a that's a come up for a lot of people who don't have that kind of capital. Yeah. You know, and, and it's interesting that you tied in with the voting thing because, it, like I said, when I woke up, I was like, "That's exactly the feeling that I got." Mm -hmm. It was like, "Hey, y'all, right. we we not, you know, it's, we ain't jiving no more. This is right. if everybody do it, watch right. what happen." Right. And everybody was doing it. It was kind of like, was Stacey Abrams behind this? You know what I mean? It was kind of <laughs> one of those right. kind of feelings, kind of feelings. And the more I read about it, I was like, "Oh, that's that's a that's a real move. That's right. a real play against." Because if you think about it, um. Me and John Watson from All Fun and Games, we were talking about this the other day. He said uh, how he watched Trading Places. Yeah. And, you know, we grew up on the movie. It's a funny movie ever. But that whole scene at the end. I just thought it was funny. I don't know why. Sal. <sighs> like, if you, if you have no clue of what's taking place there or why they got rich and how it flipped, right. it would go right past you. But now, like, we understand it. And I feel like that scene. Is what happened today. All right. I feel like I need to go back and watch that all over. Yeah. Over yeah. yeah. And um, yeah. The, the, the crop report. I was, <laughs> it's all about the, <laughs> the, the Clarence Beaks and the crop report. Just to see the people really do what, and the point I was going to make, um, these big time, like they know the game. Stock market has always been off limits to us. Yes, like this yes. kudos to this young generation right. who are like, oh no, we in here. They're fearless. That wasn't a thing for us to do. No. You had to you had to have money to do that. And right. and, and they kept it from us for so long, yeah. or at least the illusion, presented the illusion that we couldn't get to it. Right. Um, to see it happen today in that fashion where we just did to y'all, which I've been doing to the economy for the last hundred, hundred, however the stock market has been up. Yeah. And now you call it manipulation because it happened to you. Right. And it's and not now, fair. Yeah. And now they asking for, they talking about we may need a bailout because you went bankrupt. What? What? So now we got to pay you back? That's yeah. Yeah. And now then I got to pay you back for the money you lost right. <laughs> trying to beat me. Right. My fear is that there are going to be people who think that it's time to buy now. Okay. And it's not, right? It's not necessarily the time to buy now. You do not want to buy GameStop at $400 a share. Oh, right. right. No you know what I mean? Like, but if you just woke up, you're like, oh, shit, GameStop is popping. Let me get a couple of shares of that. You, you might, you know, you might be taking a risk there. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's best always to just watch, you know, watch the charts, watch, watch what's happening. Join a group or two. I'm, I'm in stocks and stilettos and some other groups that are geared to a black women and whatever your niche is, find people who can help you get a better understanding of that. Cause it's intimidating for us. We keep our money under mattresses. You're right. You right. know what I mean? That's our legacy. We're not. And, and then to, to most point, to most point, Robin hood, like, like I hope maybe somebody that works there is watching the audacity. Like how yeah. you? because most, <laughs> most, and the question Haynes in the peanut gallery, he asked earlier, was it, a, was this a black thing? And I was like, not necessarily, yeah. but a lot of people, are that I know are investing now because they got the time right. from mm -hmm. they studied up and now they've got a little money to play with and, and they ain't so a lot of black people were did come up yeah because they got access now Before, yeah it was you know this the, the stock market was this far away thing yeah 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 you, know, you needed to have a broker I don't yeah. know where to get a broker from like how do you do that and, and so to that point me as a novice you know, on over the over the summer, I'm asking they like your fidelity is you do true, but to start Robin Hood. 
Okay. Everybody was like, Robinhood is a good place to start for right. the new investor because yeah. of the user interface. Friendly, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the layout is a little easier to understand. Mm -hmm. So for y'all to be the one, knowing that that's where the most of us are, yes, the, new, the, new, the newbies, mm -hmm. for y'all to be the one to be like, oh, y'all doing too much. We just, just got to stop. It's so settle down. down. Yeah, settle down. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame. I I, I was thoroughly pissed. Too. I sold everything I had on Robin. I, I just, just, just because. Cause I I just was so angry. Like I don't want the app anymore. I don't want to support the so app. When did you do that? When did you do that? I sold everything today. I sold everything I had on. on oh, wow. Okay. How did, how does it? No, you should have. Yeah, I no. could have I could have waited and tra I wanted to make a point. Like I don't I know Robin okay. care about. I yeah yeah yeah. With the stock that she had, but I felt like if enough of enough people felt like I did, and were disgusted by what Robin Hood did, and just you know, then maybe maybe other apps would not follow suit. They need to see that we are not going to stand for this shit. And so that's why I, I'm, I'm about to delete that app. All right, so switching gears. I guess uh, uh, Ike Speaks is with us. Uh, impeachment. Oh, gosh. Impeachment. <laughs> is it is or is it ain't? Or, 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 or did this sidetrack? Because you know they're good for them distractions. Yeah, it's a whole distraction and a, and a complete waste of our time mm -hmm. and resources. Because the goal of impeachment is to remove someone from office. Yeah, right. That's what I keep. It's so weird just even hearing the conversation. I'm like, what are y'all even fighting over? Like, what are you doing? What's yeah, the what are you doing? You're trying to make a point? What's the point that you can indict someone and have them acquitted at trial? Because that's essentially what's happening. And impeach, if you, if you equate a criminal case to what's happening in Congress, right? And impeachment is sort of that stage where we just present enough evidence to show that a crime has been committed and this is the person who committed it, right? We don't have to show you evidence or prove anything. It's a very low standard. Same thing with the House. So it doesn't take much for you to get an impeachment. But that conviction, that that evidence, that proof beyond a reasonable doubt, that's that's not happening. They knew they didn't have the numbers for that, right? Because you need two thirds. You need you're going to need 67 senators to vote to convict. We got 50 Democrats on 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 deck and only five Republicans who have said that they will. Right. So there's 45 other Republicans who are like, yeah, no, you don't even have jurisdiction. Their argument and they get, they get to make this argument. We don't have to even decide the merits of whether or not Donald Trump actually incited a riot. The Senate doesn't have jurisdiction over a former president or the a private citizen it's very specific right this is about presidents vice presidents and civil officers that's it doesn't say former anything right and so well there's precedent there's precedence there was back in 18 bubble fuck there was a, a guy who <laughs> after he left office uh, they, they, they started to impeach him and he went and resigned so they continued with the impeachment he was acquitted in the senate there there is no precedent for a former president being impeached. And here's the kicker. Everybody, well, if they impeach him, they could keep him from running again. No, they cannot. Mm. Okay, so let me explain this. In order for the Senate to vote for him to not be allowed to run again on a simple majority, they have to meet the condition precedent, right? Some shit has to come first, and that's a conviction. Because the statute of the, the Constitution says it's, it's read in the conjunctive, not disjunctive. There is a and there, A and D, right? That small little word for those of us who love statutory interpretation, our whole nerds about this shit. We love to be able to say, you know, you have to read those clauses together. Okay. Right? And if we look at Article 2, when it talks about impeachment, it is talking about conviction and removal. It doesn't say conviction or removal. You cannot have a removal proceeding if you don't first have a conviction. How can you say, oh wait, he was acquitted, but we still want him removed? That, that's not how it works. And what are you removing if he's out of office? If he's already out of the office. So, you know, I think what the goal was, was they thought that enough Republicans would be outraged that they would be able to get a conviction, 
right? They only need 67. We can get 17 more people to 17 for you, Bob Molly. Well, I'm, I'm on my new Jack City shit today. <laughs> <laughs> if we could get 17 of you to go along with us, then we can get him in feature. We only need a simple majority, right? We only need 51 to keep him from running again, ever. But they don't have the numbers. So we can't get there. They don't even have 51? They got 51, but you don't right. get to 51 until you get to 67. Oh, you got to do 67 first. 67 is the condition proceeding. That's the condition that has to happen first. He has to be convicted. That's like saying to a guy, listen, I know you was acquitted, but I'm going to need you to do this five to 10. What the fuck? Wait, what? I'm not, I'm not about to go to jail. I so so the, question, the question to ask, uh, uh, what about the benefits? Like, is there any way to strip him of, of benefits, even if this process falls on his face? No. Uh. No. He has to be convicted. Think about this in terms of you, if you were charged with a crime. You think you should be punished if you're not convicted? No, no absolutely. No. <laughs> I mean, we got to remove our emotion from this because if we all want yeah. you to be convicted. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hate them, right? But I, 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 I can't be emotional about this. And he's already he's already set up the office of the former president. Like, what are you doing? He doesn't he doesn't give a fuck about nothing. He's the office of the former president. He has secretaries, letterhead. He don't give a shit. And start and talking about starting another party. Well, yeah, I saw that too. Right, the Patriot Party or the MAGA Party or whatever they're gonna call it. Um, yeah. Now, another political party, that's not a hard thing to do. Like he he really could pull that off because they had the, they had the bread and pickles party on the on the goddamn ballot this time. <laughs> and I went to they I went to their website and there's like three Amish people. How did y'all even like what is the process to do that? Petition. If it's if it's that easy, if it's that easy and we stay talking about we need our own party, how come we ain't done that yet? If it's that easy. The black people don't have no unity, let's not pretend. Oh. Oh, okay. no, look at H.R. 40, right? That was the bill sponsored by John Conyers back in 1970-something, uh, and he introduced it every year for like 20 years. And that was just to study reparations. Not right. give us shit. No, not give us anything, but just let's look into some shit. Let's just look at the effects of slavery and the residual and the vestiges and see how that has affected a lot of the Black people. Let's just, let's just study that. We didn't even get that fast. Mm. Maybe Not people, even to, to look into it. Right, just look into it. Come on. Now, sidebar, I, I was at um the, the National, the Smithsonian, the, the Blacksonian or whatever. Nice. Um, I used to call it, uh, I don't know if YouTube is going to flag this, but I used to call it the nigger museum. <laughs> um, the uh, and, and, and standing in line, this was early when it was just over. Standing in line, you know, you wait about three hours and you read the little, the little right. history. And I was just so fascinated because they were saying how, I'm like, all right, who put this together? Right. And they were saying how it's been like in the making since like the 1920s. Long time. They've been collecting money since then. And they said every presidential cycle reversed the advances of the previous. Mm. And they, I mean, they, it's listed. It says in so, 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 so President Woodrow Wilson wow. uh, it tabled the, the groundbreaking and then Roosevelt uh, wow. uh, made it a, you know, made it an executive order to proceed in the next eight years. And then the next president was like, and then they put that on. The, and I was like, wow. And then it was like groundbreaking happened in the Clinton era or whatever. And still happened 20 years after that. Right. But, but I say all that to say to your, to your point, they, they, they do like, they've been doing that. They'll, they'll have the ability, the power, the resources, and just be like, nah, not right now. We're right. just, gonna, we're just, yeah. There's always a concerted effort, effort to our impediment. Concerted effort towards our impediment. Look at Robin Hood. I'm yeah. not saying it's a race thing, but that's a class yeah. thing. Yes, and class. Definitely, uh, there's yeah. always an intersection between class and race when we're talking about poverty. Yeah. So you know we're affected. We're absolutely now, affected. Now, uh, uh, with the with the reparations thing, I talked about this a couple of days ago. Um, where are you? Which, 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 which crowd are you in? Are you the Joe Biden? He's, it's only been a week. Or are you in the crowd where Joe Biden, hey man, it's been a whole week. 
Like which 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 one for you? Because he did an executive order where he named Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders and the xenophobia and violence that right. they suffer. Yeah, he named to all these people these black intellects, these super smart uh, uh, intellectuals who say, "Well, you know, he he just can't name oh, black people." Right. He literally did it in an executive order. What side? What side of the fence are you on? Is, I'm at the. After day or, or one. I, I wanted to see an executive order on a police database for uh, police brutality. I wanted to see that on day one. So I'm past. Uh, it's the week. What's up? I'm past that. Yeah. I'm past that, and I'm I'm at the point where I'm like, he's no different than. I didn't think he was different than anyone else, but you know, I thought maybe he would advance some policies that were specifically. Since we gave you that shit specifically for us, and that hasn't happened. Yeah, because if you read the spin and and, and many of the articles that came out, a lot of the spin and many of the articles that came out this week was, no, he got the racial equality thing, the workplace thing, and the housing thing. No, he got the prison thing. That's y'all too. Yeah, who, that's you know, who do you think it affects y'all? LGBT. That's y'all too. Uh, and I'm like, no, no, it's not the same. Right. Like you, you could have done one thing. Right. You could have just said executive order, stop. Uh, uh, stop being disrespectful to black people. <laughs> just stop, sh- stop shooting people in the back. Yeah, uh-huh. just just be like, and people would be like, oh, well, you know, Joe, that's not a law, but we feel you. You know what I'm saying? You could have, but they be so scary. And then the people that that you know embrace that 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 position is like, well, he can't. Well, it's, it's early. And well, you know, we're in a pandemic. They do what they want. Yeah, they but do what they you, want. Know what? you you got to put this in context of the phone call. You remember the phone call he had with the black leaders and they were like, hey, we would like for you to do these things on day one. This is what we're looking for. We're looking for an executive order on this, that, and the third thing. And he was like, man, I done done enough. I got here. Oh, that's right. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't remember. I didn't forget that. Yeah. I did not forget that. I didn't, I didn't forget the way he spoke to the people as if he was so entitled. Yeah. That they, like, you, I'm Joe Biden. Like you, if you not, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. Yeah, yeah, well, like that, yeah, that, that one. Yeah, yeah. Like get the fuck out of here. Yeah, and and that was that was the obvious one. But I was hoping, like, because you said that, that more people would remind and be like, "Hey, man, remember what you were saying? What you had right. said?" Right. And nobody's really. Everybody's still placating. How come he could say black on the Charlemagne show, but you can't say black in your executive order? Ooh, really? What are we doing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, I'm not about that life. <laughs> All right. Anything else in the, in the world of legality and law that we should be uh, paying attention to? So um, just the the, uh, the NRA's filing um, oh, yeah. to yeah. try to thwart the investigation of your, your friend, Letitia James. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So they are seeking to move out of New York. Now, the NRA has been organized in New York for over 100 years, I believe. Mm. Um, and so they are seeking now to uh, reorganize in Texas, I believe. Where as, a, as a nonprofit, which, if in my limited understanding of the way the world works, there's no limits to the amount of money they can play with now. Exactly. Correct? It's correct. Oh, okay. but, but you have to have an accounting, right? You have to, sp- you're supposed to spend the funds properly. Okay. So that is the problem. Letitia James is investigating the NRA saying that you use these funds for personal use 67 million right you were on vacations and yeah. disney and cars and boats and trips and the 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 stuff that they outlined that was spent is insane and so she's investigating them and saying that they have been misappropriate and misusing these funds for years mm. and they're like well we're going to seek reorganization of bankruptcy laws um and so hopefully you won't be looking at any of our stuff now, how, how are they able? How are they able to do that in 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 the midst of an ongoing investigation? How can you do that? I thought you couldn't do that. That's protection. That's that's one of the ways that you protect when you are being investigated uh, or sued. If you think about a homeowner, if you're being sued for foreclosure, you should run the bankruptcy court. Oh, because there are homeowner protections okay. in the bankruptcy court for you. Yeah. And the same is true for corporation. And so that's what they're trying to do is get some protection from bankruptcy court. But whatever assets. Um, that they have in New York, those assets will be frozen until the investigation is over. Yeah, they're not moving that money. Mm. I know Letitia James is not going to allow them to move any money until she completes her investigation. So that's the last thing I have. 
from the from the peanut gallery uh last question can nonprofits lobby so i guess can they once they're back up and running can they have the same impact and influence that they did when they I were don't, i don't know i don't know the uh legal answer to that okay i don't know i'll look it up get back to you there we are yeah, all right. i'm sure if they if they are legally prohibited they have some way to circumvent that <laughs> i'm sure of it no but i'll look it up for you always a pleasure ladies and gentlemen i can speak against the law Thank you for having appreciate me. Appreciate you. Always. All right, y'all be good. Stay safe. Don't travel yeah. to non-border state. Oh, man. <laughs> they, they got you for going to Cleveland? God, dog. No. I'm locked up. <laughs> Let me out. We'll, we'll, do a, uh, we'll do a daily uh, check-in. Thank you very much. Day, day, nine, day nine, you could be walking around in a road with a Virginia Slim cigarette and all types of... <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if it is a closet, you still looking mad official.